You may not know this about me, but I spend a lot of time looking at ARK Invest's trading data. What's that? You already knew that about me? Well, what you may not know is that I've been spending the last five months working with a Tableau master to unlock all of the juicy secrets of ARK Invest's trading data. Seriously, this guy wrote the literal book on Tableau, and he just helped this channel level up big time. More on that towards the end of the episode. In this episode, I'm going to show you what we've been working on so far, and some of the things that we're finding in the data. Stick around, and I'll tell you how you can use these dashboards for your own investing, as well as how I'm using it to guide my research for this channel going forward. Your time is valuable, so let's get right into it, starting with something a little more familiar. Here's the new version of the table that I've been using to track the changes in ARK Invest holdings. My patrons on Patreon and channel members right here on YouTube already have access to the older version of this today. This new dashboard actually lets the user compare ARK Invest's trading data for the last 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, or 60 trading days, but I have a special version that also lets me put in custom dates so that I can take my sweet time when I'm making content. Right now, we're looking at the start of quarter 4 2021, all the way through yesterday, just to keep things as relevant as possible. ARK Invest's funds are all conviction-weighted and managed by the same Kathy Wood, and the big investing question that I've been answering with these tables are simple. Which stocks did Kathy Wood buy the most of or sell out of the least as her funds continue to shrink between these two dates? Each row is one company, the rows are ordered by the size of Kathy Wood's position in that company, and each position is colored by its change in size relative to the change in ARK Invest's assets under management. We care about the changes in total dollars held. So from October 1st to yesterday, ARK Invest's total assets under management shrank by over $10 billion, or about 28%. ARK K shrank by about 23%, ARK W shrank by about 34%, and so on. These numbers change day by day, but they tell me how I should color each table to find the most outsized buys and sells depending on the fund. So this new version calculates it all for me in one place. Since we're looking at her combined funds and they shrank by 28%, this table is colored so that positions that shrank by more than that are in blue, and positions that shrank by less than that, or even grew, are in green. So let's start answering some of those investing questions that we might have about ARK Invest's data. Kathy Wood sold 55% of her Tesla shares over the last 15 weeks or so, as its price went up about 37%. She now holds about $1.7 billion of Tesla stock, which is almost 40% fewer dollars than she held at the start of quarter four. This doesn't mean that Tesla is now a cash-like position to ARK Invest. Even with that massive drop, Tesla is ARK Invest's number one position overall, and that hasn't changed at all. It's still their highest conviction holding, since all these funds are conviction-weighted. It's no secret that growth stocks have been absolutely decimated over the last quarter. What this means is that other growth stocks moved up in conviction relative to Tesla as their prices got crushed and their fundamentals stayed the same. This second column tracks percent changes in share price, and many of ARK Invest stocks have fallen by 20, 30, or even 40% or more over the last quarter. That simply didn't happen to Tesla stock. So my honest guess is that ARK Invest used stocks like Tesla, Coinbase, Unity, and Spotify as cash to counteract the big drops in price of their other highest conviction positions. Here's the first big challenge with this table. Notice how all of these four rows have different colors, even though Kathy Wood sold shares of all four as all four stocks went up in price. That trading behavior of selling a stock when it rallies is hard to spot using this table. Keep these stocks, Tesla, Coinbase, Unity, and Spotify in mind for a little bit. I'll show you how we solved this problem over the last few months. The green rows with positive changes in share count and negative changes in share price are the ones where Kathy Wood bought the dip. Teladoc, Zoom, Roku, UiPath, Exact Sciences, Square recently changed its name to Block, which really adds a whole new dimension to the company, if you ask me. That's it, that's my one Square joke. Anyway, that name change is what's messing with the data for Square, and I'm still figuring out how I want to handle data where a company changes its name in the middle of the data set. Twilio, Intellia Therapeutics, and Beam Therapeutics to round out the list. If we scroll down a little bit on this list, we can see massive triple digit increases in share counts for Robinhood, Ginkgo Bioworks, and Roblox as well. All three of these rows are very green, but what we actually want to know is which ones are green because Kathy Wood bought a lot of shares and the price of the stock is way down. Those are the ones where she's actually buying the dip. Robinhood and Ginkgo Bioworks are very green because Kathy Wood bought the dip, but Roblox is green partly because its share price also went up. 
the number one question I get asked in the comments of my videos, on Discord, on Twitter, and on every other platform is what is Kathy Wood buying and selling and why? So a part of my job has always been to go through the data by hand and find the dips and the cash-like positions. The big challenge is in presenting the actual data in a way that tells the right story. So. This is the new state of the art dashboard. There are a lot of investing insights here, so while your eyes adjust, let me walk you through them. Just like before, you can pick a standard time interval like one trading day, one week, one month, and so on. I'm looking at ARK Invest's trading data from the start of quarter four through today, just like I showed you with the tables. Here's how their assets under management have changed in total and fund by fund. Here's the Cathy indicator, both in total and also fund by fund. The lower the number of stocks in a fund, the more concentrated into their highest conviction positions that fund must be as they sell their lower conviction stocks for cash. These four white boxes show highlights from across the entire data set. The five biggest buys, sells, new positions, and completely sold out positions without me having to go hunt them down. Since this is a data-driven, research-focused channel, the positions listed in those boxes should make for useful investing content. Remember Robinhood, Ginkgo Bioworks, and Roblox? Well, those last two were actually some of the biggest increases since the start of quarter four, but Robinhood's total position size only increased by about 2%, so it doesn't show up as a top increase. Over the same time period, ARK Invest decreased their Tesla position by over a billion dollars, but it's still rank one. Next is Zillow with over $800 million in decreases since the start of October. It's now ranked 71. That's way more interesting, even though it's technically a smaller sale than Tesla's. There's definitely a video about how Zillow entered, messed up, and catastrophically exited the online home buying market and how Kathy Wood sold Zillow stock as a result. What about their biggest new positions? ARK Invest has $34 million in Newbank now, which is a stock they weren't invested in just a quarter ago. Same with Kindstock, which is Nextdoor, and XPEV, which is Xpeng Motors, a Chinese electric vehicle company. Those are all interesting video ideas. ARK Invest's largest total sales include Pinterest and Facebook. I've already made videos covering both of those stocks, or those would be two more episodes, but maybe there's a video about ARK Invest's stance on social media in there somewhere. And at least now, I know to look. When I say this is a data-driven investing channel, I'm not just throwing around some buzzwords. Here's the data literally driving the channel. So let's talk about ARK Invest's trading data over the last quarter of 2021 and the first couple weeks of this year as I orient you to the rest of the state of the ARK. If something interests you, I encourage you to comment below or tweet me at ticker symbol U with what you'd like me to cover in future episodes. The main idea of this new dashboard is to see all of ARK Invest's funds side by side as well as their combined holdings without having to switch between views. So what stocks is Kathy Wood actually buying the dip on and what is she selling to get the cash? From the previous table, we know that she sold Tesla, Coinbase, Unity, and Spotify. Remember how different their row colors were even though they all went up in share price and Kathy Wood sold some shares of each of them? Well, now there's an indicator next to each stock. If the indicator is blue, Kathy Wood is selling the stock as the price increases. Tesla stock increased by 37%, so Kathy Wood sold 55% of her shares, just like we saw earlier. But now this blue indicator at the start of the row lets us know when both of those things are true. Even though these four stocks had very different row colors on the previous table, and in this one, they all share this blue indicator because Kathy Wood sold them for cash. The rows with this blue indicator, combined with the top decreases and largest sold positions, are where the majority of her cash came from. If there's a green indicator to the left of the stock, Kathy Wood bought the dip over that same time frame. Teladoc's price is down 32%, and ARK's share count is up 17%. So based on ARK Invest's research and trading data, we can now quickly tell which stocks could be decent buy the dip opportunities right now. That doesn't mean you should go out and buy every stock with the green square next to it. It just means we can narrow down our search a lot. If I click on a stock, the whole dashboard becomes focused on that stock. I have absolutely every piece of information on Tesla inside of these funds, like the current value of the position, its previous value, the percent change, and so on. I also get a plot of the daily closing price and the total number of shares that Kathy Wood held on every market day, which lets me calculate her average buy price over this time period, assuming she bought right at market close. It's not perfect, but that's probably the best we can do. Want to know Kathy Wood's average buy price for Tesla over the last two weeks? Just click two weeks and then click Tesla. 
It's $1,104.89. Want to know exactly how many shares she held each trading day? That's the blue line. We can check the rank, the holding size, the share price, the share count, and the weight for that stock across every trading day in that time range. Want to know Kathy Wood's average buy price for Teladoc just in Arc K over just the last quarter? Hit the one quarter button, then hit Teladoc sell in the Arc K column and voila. A little under $110 per share is what she paid for it. It's 86.32 as of yesterday's close, so you can go buy Teladoc stock today for much cheaper than Kathy Wood did. I'm not saying you should go out and do that, I'm simply showing you that the opportunity currently exists in the stock market and here is the data to prove it. So, here are all the top stocks that Kathy Wood bought the dip on since October 1st. We already covered Teladoc, which dipped about 32%, and she bought 17% more shares for an average of $114 per share across her funds combined. It's currently $86. Zoom is down 33%, so Kathy Wood picked up 56% more shares at an average of $227 per share. It moved from rank 9 to rank 4 of her combined funds as a result, and it's currently $176 per share. UiPath is one of just two stocks that sits inside all six ARK Invest funds, the other being Palantir. UiPath is down 21% since October 1st, and Kathy Wood picked up 16% more shares as a result. Her average buy price since October 1st is $49 per share. It's currently under 42. Roku is currently down over 40%, and Kathy Wood picked up 36% more shares as a result, for an average buy price of $262. It's currently $186. We can see similar behavior in genomic stocks. She bought the dip in Exact Sciences, Intellia Therapeutics, Beam Therapeutics, CRISPR Therapeutics, and Pacific Biosciences, as well as Ginkgo Bioworks, which moved up 15 ranks after she more than doubled her share count in it during the most recent dip. Her average buy price for Ginkgo Bioworks is almost $12 per share, and it's currently under $7 per share. One extra stock I want to cover here is Palantir, since there's been a lot of chatter about it after a certain interview and with concerns about Kathy Wood selling her shares. Palantir is currently ARK Invest's 16th biggest position overall, down only two ranks since the start of October. One interesting thing that wasn't easy to pull out of the data before, but is now very easy, is that ARK Invest isn't really just selling Palantir. They're selling it in ARK K, ARK W, and ARK F, while adding to it in ARK G, ARK Q, and ARK W. What this means to me is that Kathy Wood thinks that there are better investing opportunities in the advanced internet technology space, but that Palantir's ability to gain market share in genomics, autonomy, and space-based applications are being undervalued in the markets today. This totally makes sense if you think about which stocks are getting crushed the hardest. It's the quote-unquote stay-at-home stocks that Palantir competes with, exactly in ARC-K, ARC-W, and ARC-F. If you're interested in learning more about Palantir, Ginkgo Bioworks, Teladoc, UiPath, Roku, and many of the other stocks on this list, while they're at much lower prices than Kathy Wood has been buying them, I've made deep dive videos on a lot of them, and I'll work on covering the rest. I'll leave my playlist of existing deep dive videos in the top right-hand corner of your screen right now, and in the description below as well. Okay, as far as I know, this is currently the most powerful, most complete, and most organized way to look at a family of funds on the internet today. When other investment firms decide to publish daily trading data and tons of research like ARK Invest does, all I have to do is plug them into a copy of this dashboard and the channel can expand its market coverage. Data drives the channel and no one provides better, faster, or more research-backed investment data than ARK Invest, period. I'm the product manager and designer of this suite of dashboards. Before I became a full-time investor and YouTuber, I was the head of strategy and data analytics at a business-to-business -business web technology firm. My job there was to help clients make decisions based on a lot of different kinds of business data from a lot of sources. Before that, I was a rocket scientist at MIT, and my job there was to help computers make decisions based on a lot of different kinds of sensor data from a lot of different sources, mostly cameras, telescopes, and radars. The Tableau expert I'm working with is Patrick Sarsfield. Hi, Pat. It turns out that he's a fan of the channel and was up to the challenge. He works as a senior data visualization consultant at Lovelytics. He literally wrote the book on sharing content through Tableau. No, I'm not kidding. Here's the book. It's called Maximizing Tableau Server, a beginner's guide to accessing, sharing, and managing content on Tableau Server. If you're interested in checking out his work, you can find him on Twitter at Patty Scarsfield. And if you're interested in checking out his book, you can find a discount code in the description below. 
I don't make any money in any way for you using the code or buying his book. I just think it's awesome that he wrote one. If you want access to these dashboards for yourself, consider supporting the channel as a patron on Patreon or channel member right here on YouTube. I'm going through the last rounds of verification and bug fixing right now, so I'll be rolling out these new dashboards to my supporters in the next week or two. I update all of these dashboards myself every market day by hand. So if you're already a supporter of the channel, thank you. Your support means the world to me. And in return, you're about to get a lot more bang for your buck. Donors will get the new bar chart where you can filter all of Ark Invest's holdings by fund and by date, as well as mouse over any position to learn lots more about it. I use this as a quick way to see how big Ark Invest's biggest positions are compared to the other new positions at any given moment. If you sign up at the investor tier, you get that bar chart and the upgraded tables. The tables let you search through the changes in any of Ark Invest's funds or all of them combined. For each fund, you can go back one or two days, one or two weeks, a month, or even a quarter to see how Ark Invest's positions have changed. I use this when I'm just trying to quickly find the biggest changes inside each fund over time and ask high level questions and build out my watch lists. And of course, if you're interested in seeing every single detail about ARK Invest positions across every fund with all the crazy automations and tooltips and insights that I just showed you, the Disruptor tier supporters are going to get the full state of the ARK dashboard plus the other two. And if you're an insider tier supporter, you'll obviously get everything as well, in addition to my buy and sell alerts, which should resume shortly now that this project is wrapping up. There's never any pressure to support the channel or to help fund these crazy and risky investing projects. I'll be regularly featuring all of these dashboards in future episodes, especially with ARK Invest's 2022 Big Ideas report coming out soon. If I find something worth sharing, I'll share it with you right here on this channel as always. After all, this is the channel that invests in you. And it's pretty good to be back. So stay strong, stay long, and thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Ticker Symbol U. My name is Alex, reminding you that the best investment you can make is in you.